What's up, guys? This is Michael from Cartoon Universe, and I'm here, of course, with Haley from Cartoon Universe. Uh, but we also have a special guest with us. We have Eric from Looney Turtle. Turtle. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> so this is uh, our first uh, podcast type of type of deal, which is pretty cool. So thanks for coming on, Eric. Yes, it's, it's, it's fun to be here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you guys know, sadly, Gravity Falls is ending. Oh, no! Forever. We'll never see it again. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... <Some> books, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of want to just kind of uh, reflect on the series and get some last-minute um, theories in and uh, before the finale on Monday, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Monday. Yeah, so we kind of just wanted to talk about uh, where where we've left off and Gravity Falls and everything. Um, so I think the last that we saw was uh, Dipper and Mabel going to the shack, and there's a whole crowd of people in the shack, and that's where we finally find Stanley. Um, and uh, Bill still can't leave Gravity Falls, which we're going to talk about that because it's very interesting uh, development. Um, so I guess I guess let's start with that. Uh, why do you guys think Bill can't leave Gravity Falls? I was watching, I, I just watched the episode again, and it, I mean, it doesn't really make sense why he can't, but... Yeah. Uh, in the video that I did for it, a lot of my viewers were saying that it might be the unicorn hair, which that can make sense, hmm. um, but for me, it, it doesn't completely make sense since, um, like, the, the unicorn hair was used to be put around the mystery shack, just right. the mystery shack, not everywhere else so i i'm not sure that it, it extends to the entirety of gravity falls it could but i don't i don't hmm. think that it does i don't unless four secretly planted unicorn hair around the perimeter of gravity falls which would have been time consuming yeah very time consuming. Uh, but like in the episode that the unicorn hair was brought up i'm pretty sure he only put it around the mystery shack which would explain why everybody's huddled over there with uh, right. multi pair and freaking oh, everybody, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Did not even think about that. That's right. Yeah, I was wondering like why? Why are they all in the shack? <laughs> Maybe because it's all protected <laughs> magically. Yeah, hmm. yeah uh, that that makes sense. It could also um, be a time thing, uh, like with the time baby or Blendin doing something. I don't know what. Um, well, Blendin escaped if you remember yeah like he he um bill destroyed the time squad as well as time baby mm -hmm. but blending escaped uh and um at the beginning of all this when maple uh gives bill the uh rift um bill says well i can put you in a time bubble or some something along those lines mm -hmm. so Maybe since Blandon was able to escape, he put a time bubble around Gravity Falls to prevent this anomaly from being able to spread. A time bubble. What does a time bubble mean? <laughs> um, it's essentially what Mabel was in, but not quite. Like, I, I think that the bubble that Mabel was in is a good representation, except well, it, it, that, right? it also has Mage's, well, Mabel's, God. It has Mabel's uh, imagination in there instead of just freezing time or mo modifying time in right. some way. Um, but uh, a time bubble is just you contain one area that can um, move freely and go forward as it please, but the rest of the world is frozen or maybe running slower than in the time mm. bubble. That sounds trippy. Yeah. Time travel, man. <laughs> yeah, the time the time travel is another thing. Like, it, it, the time travel is very. Uh, they they, ne they never really explained too well how their time travel works in this universe. I feel like because like mm -hmm. you have the the time baby got vaporized. Um, yeah, and then they said it'll take a thousand years for his molecules to regenerate. Right. Yeah. Um, which means reconstitute. Yeah, <laughs> which means theoretically he could come back again back in time to stop Bill Cipher. Uh, yeah. But he's um, also in the iceberg during that time, so... Well, actually, <laughs> that's... I I haven't actually thought about that. Um, what was the explanation given to us about him being in the iceberg? That was like a little Easter egg thing, I believe. Um, I think it was 
in like a newspaper or a book. Um, it was like talking about the time baby, like in a passage. Uh, and like, he was like frozen in the iceberg and he like emerges like thousands of years later or something like that. And uh, there's a future that Mabel and Dipper go to where time baby is destroying everything. Is there only mm-hmm. one in that future or are there two time babies? Yeah, that, that's what I'm wondering. Cause if, <laughs> if, if the time baby got, went back in time and got vaporized, but then he regenerates in a thousand years. Does that um, mean the well, other maybe the in the one? in the iceberg thaws out and then there's two time babies? End of episode thing or was it one of these that said that he would reconstitute? Uh hmm. Yeah, we we're looking at uh for for those watching the uh pages the like end card pages. Um where they I all connect know. together to make two faces. Yeah. Uh, Stanford and Stanley. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll throw uh, an image up on the screen for you guys. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm, I, I think it might have been. Oh, I had to translate it with the Abash cipher because I made a video with this included as well. Right. Um, I think that it was just an end of episode message that was like, hey, it'll take a thousand years for Time Baby's molecules to reconstitute. And when they do, he's going to be very cranky. Yeah, I think that was the... Uh, I think that was just at the code at the end of the uh, credits when uh, Louis C.K. <laughs> was like, oh, somebody, whatever. Yeah. Um, so, hmm. I guess there there might be two time babies in the future. Uh, it's a question of which one is present in the future where that we saw <laughs> Abel and Dipper. And also, uh, like, why couldn't he just go back in time again? And also, if they're from the future, don't they already know what happens? Yeah, they should know. Like, or maybe... <laughs> or does well, did he change they it? That, they said that uh, Bill is creating a paradox, didn't they? Did I, I don't remember that. Oh. That might be... That, that would make it's sense. It's a time anomaly, I believe is how they describe right. it. Like, he, he is committing a crime against time. Um. I I would assume mm. that that means that this wasn't supposed to happen. True. True. Yeah. But he also is aware of the future. Yeah. Uh, who? Bill Bill yeah. Cipher. Because um, he was like, "Oh, you want to hear the exact time and place of your death?" Oh. Like. So I'm <laughs> right. assuming he he sees everything. So wouldn't he already know if he wins or loses? I don't know how. The extent of his power hasn't really been explained, has it? Not not in depth, funny enough. And then also, how did Blendon survive that in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> I call shenanigans. I think Bill was just like, hey, you know, I'll leave him a chance. Because <laughs> <laughs> like he um, really like that was a that was a widespread uh, beam. Yeah. I don't know how Blendon got out of the way, unless that's another Blendon <laughs> from a different right. timeline. Who knows? Came back. <laughs> uh, um, I what episode was it on? Uh. Hello, 18. truck. What episode are we on in season two? Uh, nineteen. So we're about 19. to go in twenty slash twenty one because it's an hour long uh, finale. That might be why there's going to be that. That might be why there's two pages. Yeah, because it's basically a two parter, isn't it? Yeah, I, that, that I'm assuming the last page is good news. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I <would> hope. <laughs> but um, in the eighteenth episode of this season, um, which I think was the beginning of. Weird Mageddon. Uh, the game game is over and I won. Now it's time to start the fun. I always love corrupting lives. Now let's see which pine survives. Ooh. <laughs> That's where it came from, where people are wondering if, what, which pines will survive. Yeah, that's, a, that's another question. Do you guys think anyone will actually die in this show? Um, well, S- Ford might. I could see of anyone I could see Ford. Yeah, yeah. agreed. <laughs> or maybe Dipper, but nah, I don't yeah, think they're gonna a kill a twelve-year-old in Disney. <laughs> well, uh, they're like your big end of show bash. Why not kill one of your main characters? <laughs> True. Um, but you know, uh, well, maybe it's Stanley. Like yeah. that's a that's a possibility. Yeah, there's like been a lot of like foreshadowing with him and fire. And like burning and stuff like that. Yeah, and it doesn't really seem that he's huh. going to have a lot after summer. 
because mm. uh, Ford wants him out. Well, I would if, hope they make like, up by the end. Yeah, <laughs> that'd, we that'd would kind of suck. <laughs> but um, I, I, it might be Stanley, and you know, I, I'd like I'd like it. It'd be interesting to see that as the conclusion. Yeah, like maybe he, s- that, he sacrifices himself, or if bo- they both die, <laughs> or they the, both the die in a cosmic inferno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah. another another hint was. Uh, the the newspaper where it said where he faked his death and said Stan, uh, Stan Pines found dead or whatever. Yeah. So that could that could be referring to either of them, really. Yeah. So that could be a foreshadowing, mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Uh, but well, that was just to because he faked his own death, wasn't it? Yeah, but that could be like as far as a writing standpoint, a foreshadowing of uh, yeah. what's to come. Yeah. Um. In. Well, uh, we were. What question were we answering? Uh, are people dying? <laughs> people dying. Yeah, great, great question. Uh, of all of them, I think that it, it might be Stanley or one of the small, like, younger Pine twins. But I'm not sure. Uh, Pines might also extend to anyone that helps the Pines family, like Wendy and mm-hmm. and uh, Pacifica to a lesser extent, or uh, Seuss. Of all people, that w- that would be <laughs> tragic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's it's possible if you want to stretch the meaning of which Pine survives. Yeah, well, he's he's a, he's kind of like a, an adopted son of sorts to Stanley. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Disney will go as far to kill a a twelve year old. Yeah, <laughs> I could see. I could see Ford or Stanley. Oh, this might be worth noting. Uh, at the play or at the fair, I always see them standing there, dressed in black. They're on my lawn, but when I turn my head, they're gone. Uh, and this is pretty much referring to the men in black. Yeah. And how they've been watching the Pines. Also, uh, Alex Hirsch made it a point to uh, bring this up in uh, Between the Pines. Oh, did he? See, yeah, he was like, he, that you'd that notice that they've been following the Pines family this entire time. What? Wait, is, are, are they like just in like, the background and stuff? Yeah, just in the background, they'll walk by. Um, or they'll be dressed up in some weird outfit. That's amazing. I, I yeah. don't think I've noticed that. Yeah, I didn't either. And, then, <laughs> and Alex was like, yeah, you'll notice that. And then I was like, shoot, I noticed that. That's crazy. <laughs> so um, what what role do you think they might play in the finale? Hmm. When, when was the last time we saw them? I think it was when they were in their like secret hideout or whatever, and they had uh, McGucket's, like memories. Um, I think that, I'm pretty sure that was the last time we saw them. I might be wrong. When did they had McGucket's memories? Yeah, like the what was it called? It was like a I think it was like a tube or maybe it was a videotape. Um and they like were playing back his recordings and and his like descent into being crazy, you know, being becoming old man McGucket. I don't remember this for yeah. some reason. When was it? Uh that, that that was like the whole episode um based around uh Society of the Blind Eye. Let me see. Oh, well, hmm. Like they were watching the film? The Men in Black? Uh, No, it was like Dipper, Mabel, uh, Seuss, I think Wendy as well. Oh, but what role did the Men in Black have? Oh, no, wait. They were... Society of the Blind Eye was red. Yeah. Okay. I'm so the Men in Black the, are uh, something completely... Agents. Oh. For some reason, yeah. I pictured uh, Society of the Blind Eye in like Black Hoods. Yeah, I can see that now. <laughs> oh, that, was Blind question. Ivan with the the group in the Mystery Shack? Hmm. I know I pointed all of them out in my video, this, but I don't remember. This, this 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 is a lot of us going. Did this happen? Did this happen? Did this happen? I think this we happened. Should have, we should have researched. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're uh, winging it, guys. We're winging it. Let me see. Let me see. Scrolly, 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 scrolly. I'm not watching my own video. <laughs> Shameless plug. Go subscribe yeah. to the Looney Toner. So Blind Ivan is not in. Yeah, Blind Ivan's sorry. not in there. Yeah. Well, he but had the gnomes are, and, and yeah. uh, all the other people. He had his uh, <laughs> memories erased. If my memory <laughs> serves me right. If your memory serves <laughs> you right, he doesn't have memories. <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe so. 
I don't. I forget a lot of details of this show that are probably There's vital. Too many details. <laughs> yeah, it's such a detailed show. Ten out of ten. Gravity Falls on mystery. <laughs> so yeah, the Men in Black. Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure well, what they could do at this point. Yeah. You know, there are some mysteries that are right in front of you. You can probably piece together really easily, like uh, the numbers translating to words, uh, 22, 3, 4, mm-hmm. but. Or it literally translates to but. Um, <laughs> add another four and it's a different but. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but then there's other ones like um, when the writer, when the author is writing something down, there's a rainbow reflected onto the uh, table. Like mm-hmm. a, that's a weird old reflection to put a rainbow on there. And then when they go into Stanford's room with the um, uh, body switching rug. Right. On his table, uh, well, on the table, on it, when they open the door, there, the scene shows a table in the foreground right next to the camera. Mm-hmm. And it's got a prism. With a rainbow shining on the the uh, desk, it's not like the exact scene, but right. the rainbow was apparently a connection that I never picked up on. A connection to <laughs> that, like, Mabel, just or? say, to say that this room is the author's room. Um, yeah, and this was in between the pines, just for context. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, um, like Alex Hirsch was like, yeah, that was a a connection, and I I, I thought, what? Yeah, didn't catch that one either. Mm-hmm. This is definitely a show that you could rewatch and get a lot out of. I feel mm-hmm. like, yeah. Especially I wish that they would, would would go a little longer though. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm also I'm also glad that they're giving it a solid ending before it overstays its welcome. Yeah, like uh, you know, SpongeBob or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's at least we're getting a solid ending. But he also mentioned that he might use uh, Gravity Falls characters elsewhere in the future. Um, so what do you guys think could potentially, you know, happen with the characters we've come to know that are outside of the Gravity Falls setting? Hey, they they could have fun at home, but not as much fun as they've had in Gravity Falls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I doubt Alex Hirsch will make a show called Dipper and Mabel Go to School. <laughs> Dipper and Mabel at school. <laughs> I'll tell you about the multi-bear. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dipper giving a presentation on the multi bear and how his his body is completely possible. <laughs> yeah. But nobody believes him since he doesn't actually have multi bear present. <laughs> yeah, you can't have a show with, you know, gnomes and and zombies and inter multi dimensional beings taking and over unicorns. the world and time travel. <laughs> yeah, and unicorns, yay. And then go to like something like a traditional cartoon where it's just Dipper Mabel in high school. Like they'd, they'd have to do something uh, pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Unless they did a show like about Ford. Yeah. Maybe. But I don't maybe. know demographic wise if that would work. Um, yeah. Like they, he'd need to have a lackey sidekick. Yeah. He doesn't know anything. <clears throat> Dipper. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dipper's smart though. That's the thing. Well, yeah, but they'd make a good team. Dipper yeah. could be like, it could have an understanding of a lot of things, but then there's other things where he'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah. Like maybe like him, uh, going around and like checking out other anomalies outside of gravity falls. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm pretty sure Alex doesn't want to do anything with gravity falls after this is done. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe, uh, maybe for, <laughs> Ford and Stanley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wonder if this would factor into anything uh, in the present because it seems to just be something that Bill was doing but isn't anymore. Mm -hmm. Uh, No puppet strings can hold me down, so patiently I watch this town. Abnormal soon will be the norm. Enjoy the calm before the storm. I think that was just a reference to Weird Mageddon. Yeah. Before Weird Mageddon. I'm pretty sure. No. When was the sock puppet episode? Because I think that th- this appeared in that episode. Hmm. That was a, that was a little while ago, I believe. That was like a more. Uh... This was probably just a reference to say, "Hey, I'm still here." Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Without outright saying, "Hey, guys, Bill's <laughs> in the background." You know that, right? <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but this one is a. It, it could be brought up in the f- the next episode. Uh, fun and games are great distractions, but small things have chain reactions. Hmm. I don't. I, I haven't s- seen a good connection to what that chain reaction is. Like they played a game in yeah. that episode. That's pretty much it. What is this referring to? What chain reaction has has uh, rolling the infinity dice caused? Well, they allowed uh, the characters from the game or whatever come from their reality into this the Gravity Falls reality. I don't know. Actually, I shouldn't have done this relevant? backwards. The the one before this says Cipher's game. He needs a pawn. Be sure you know which side you're on. Hmm. So that like a pawn, that's obviously you know, like chess. Um. So <laughs> there's a game he could be playing. He needs <laughs> yeah. to get all the pieces together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. well, well. Ford looks like a game piece now. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. How, what would Bill do with Ford? Like it seems that the he's only thing. Need him. Well, yeah, he's gonna need him, but. Bill can't control Ford, and Ford blatantly said, no, I'm not helping you um, when, before he was frozen. So how could Bill get Ford to do what he wants? Probably, like, hold Tipper or Mabel or Stanley or someone like that hostage, like, threaten to hurt them. Well, what would stop Ford from lying to Bill? Like, oh yeah, this will totally help you. I mean, the mo- the moment he realizes he can't, he still can't get out of Gravity Falls. He could just vaporize <laughs> whoever he wants. So that's probably mm-hmm. a good reason to not lie. Yeah. Well, but it doesn't seem that uh, the Pines family is currently in a position to get caught by Bill. They still have, or at least I would hope they still have, the protection of the unicorn hair. Right, because the um, the shack was still in shambles, just like they left it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, that gives me the impression that the the shack hasn't been affected by any of this weird Mageddon stuff. True. Yeah. No, I don't think it has. Yeah. So, it if they're going to camp out there, Bill doesn't really have a lot of collateral to be just like, hey, you know, do this, or they're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> True. But does Ford know that they're in the shack? Um, at the moment, I don't believe so. He knows that that bubble's been yeah. popped, and if he doesn't, I think Bill needs to get his ears checked. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. does Ford, because Ford doesn't know that. Oh, yeah, Shaq. Ford so doesn't know. So if, if Bill threatens him, uh, then Ford would know that, you know, they're pre- they're protected by the shack or whatever. He would think they're out, uh, out and about, <laughs> you know, in harm's way. So he might do what Bill wants, even though he didn't have to. Yeah. Also, this is it ink or is it blood? <laughs> it always makes me wonder whenever we like there's stuff splattered on the page. This it's very clearly red, and you know it might be red ink, but come on, Gravity Falls more than just red ink. <laughs> Give us a story <laughs> in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, like maybe that implies something. That particular placement. Yeah. That ooh. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually pretty, uh, it's slightly alarming. Yeah. Um, might have just been drips from the red ink for the numbers, but. It, it, yeah, very, very well could be. Yeah. But. Also, who drew these pages? <laughs> hmm. Like, it, it, I, I wonder if it's actually a thing in the journal or if this just exists. I don't. As for the fans and viewers. I don't think that was in the journal. Well, we, of very... course, we haven't seen any of these pages. True. Well, I know, I know they're releasing a canon journal number three soon. Oh, so maybe, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll see it, see it in there. Yeah, and try. It would. It'd be fun to piece those together. Figure everything out. Yeah. Um, a stubborn, tough New Jersey native, Fiddlebrick wasn't too creative. Having twins was not his plan, so he just shrugged and named both Stan. <laughs> Um, when I first read this, I thought Fiddlebrick was referring to, um, what is his name? Fiddleford. He's, he'll, Fiddleford, yeah. Yeah. But it's his. It's their father. Like I don't remember them saying a name. Oh, 
Well, like it could be his father or F- uh, Fiddleford, um, just because uh, you're a father and you get twins, and you're like, yeah, name both of them Stan. Then, <laughs> like you have Stan as a a name in mind. Like, yeah, we'll name my son Stan. Wait, twins? Oh. Yeah, we'll name both Stan. <laughs> yeah, forget it. <laughs> yeah, or it could have been um, Fiddleford. Like this explaining why he never pointed out or noticed. This doesn't look like Stan. This looks like Stan. Because he knew that they were twins, didn't he? Well, I mean, by the time Ford went into the portal... Fiddleford was slowly descending into insanity. Yeah, exactly. But I think maybe he... Like, this could refer to him as well, in that he might have noticed, hey, this isn't the actual Stan, this is his brother. And then he was just like, eh, they're both staying. Oh, yeah. But, you know. um, Gideon's tantrums, misspelled tattoos, Chandra's rejections, society's views, a fear of witches, a life of regret. These are the things that they try to forget. Uh, This is, of course, referring to all the people who erase their memories for the Society of the Blind Eye. Gideon's tantrums, his father or his mother. I Uh, forget. His father is probably more likely. Because he mm-hmm. seems to have tantrums on his father. Pretty yeah. Consistently. And his father is kind of a dimwit. Yeah, he's pretty he's pretty stupid. Um, misspelled tattoos, that's obviously the guy with a bunch of freaking tattoos. <laughs> All over his face. Uh, and arms. Uh, Chandra's rejections, who's that? Uh, Chandra's? Let's Google it. Uh, news re- the news reporter and Toby determines crush. Oh. Okay, so Toby Turner... Society's Toby Turner. Toby Turner. (laughs) I I, I call him that. But yeah, Toby. Um, And then there's Society's Views, which could be the woodpecker husband. Right. He's, yeah. Uh, Fear of witches. Who is that? Who would be fearful of witches? A fear of witches would actually be Sprott. Sprott. Brought the salesman guy. He mm. had the big um, cow, like the right. mutant cow that the pines made escape. I think it was a short, but I can't quite remember. Fear of witches. Yeah, it's a fear of witches. How do, how do we know? Death race, scared of witches. How do we know he's <laughs> uh, afraid of witches? Um, that's just what the wiki uh, connects to, hmm. the fear of witches. He's a farmer, so. Oh, yeah, farmers hate witches. Winnipeg. Fact. That's what he c- should be most well known as. Can you uh, can you uh, guess the weight of old Forty Nine? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then he was holding a sign saying, uh, "The end is nigh," and he's like, "Yes, uh, cut things into triangles." That's probably what Bill wants, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's that guy. He is afraid of witches, I would assume. Interesting. I don't. I, I don't know if they ever like made a slight reference to that or. I don't remember him ever um, coming out and saying that. Ah, uh, let me see. Ah, he suspects that Mabel is a witch for guessing the pig's weight accurately on the first try. Ah, uh, because they were messing with the time. That that is a very Alex Hirsch, you you sly dog. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very very small. Yeah, <laughs> but amazing. someone connected it. <laughs> uh, a life of regret. Who has a life of regret? McGuck. Does they have a life of regret? Yeah, uh, Fiddleford is the one with a life of gr- regret. I suppose. It was more like one moment in his life. <laughs> yeah. That ruined the entire thing. Well, what was he... He knew a lot of things, but he was playing on... A, strumming on the old banjo, right? <laughs> yeah. For, yeah, he, he like, saw Bill. He's... Yeah. Um... Hoping to give others this a similar chance of alleviating their... Uh, deepest regrets and awful memories unfortunately conscious encounters with paranormal entities within the town and a heavy reliance on his creation uh okay so he he might have a life of regrets just by his life in gravity falls yeah half of his life or something like that yeah how true. long has it been since they since uh stanford was in the portal I remember them saying it. I think it's been actually 
few decades. <laughs> yeah. Like 20, 20 years or something. Yeah, it's it's been a little while, enough for them to all grow old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because they weren't that old. I Here's a question that I haven't actually heard answered. Where the heck did Stanford go? <laughs> Where has well, he been for the past how long? Well, they, he said he was in a different, uh, like, dimension. In another dimension. Yeah, we don't know what was in that dimension. Yeah, what he's seen. I, I'm just curious of where the heck he's been. See, that would be a really cool spinoff, actually. Yeah, like during <laughs> Ford's time uh, in the portal. Yeah, he he goes in the portal, runs into this guy with weird spiky hair and like drool on it on his lip. Is that what happens? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. That's <laughs> that's exactly where he goes. Very specific. Yeah, very specific details. <laughs> guess, I wonder if you can guess what I was talking about. Spiky hair and drool. Drool. Always oh, honest. gotcha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they... for, the, for the viewers who haven't caught on, <laughs> uh, we're talking about, uh, uh, shoot, Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> for a second there, I forgot the name. <laughs> What's that show I just referenced? <laughs> yeah, literally just seconds ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah they they I referenced don't... that before. Yeah, like they've had only one cross uh, joke, like uh, the mug and notepad fl- flying into the portal and then in Rick and Morty in the background you can see a mug yeah and a notepad spinning in a portal so yeah i'm calling it canon that that might be where it led or it just goes to many different i wonder where ford actually went like that hasn't been answered yeah that that's i hope they at least like mention it yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, <laughs> is that the, I think the most that we've gotten was uh, yeah, is a different dimension. Another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Old man sleeping on the green can't help but wonder what he's seen. I <laughs> I haven't really. It's been a while since I've seen most of these episodes, so I was just listening to you guys. <laughs> You're just watching the nerds play. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, but what do, what do you think about all this? I mean, I think it's really. Cool, and I'm really excited for the new episode. And you know, it's it's really detailed oriented. The show, and yeah, it's it's difficult to try and figure out because there's connections that are there that you would maybe never see coming. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. And then translating every single message to figure out how how does this connect to this? Uh, overall, the uh, end card pages, I don't know what the, how how they all connect. Um, it might be the episode numbers like uh one, ten, two, seventeen, eighteen, mm-hmm. um, and maybe that translates to something. But, jeez, yeah, <laughs> like I don't know how people deciphered, like how they figured out the different codes, the, like the different ciphers, and what how, what you do for each cipher. Like I have a, that blows my mind. Yeah. Well, I it usually there's a a key out there. Like you look at. For people who have uh, seen ciphers, and I'm just kind of assuming this, I, I don't know a lot of ciphers. I, I think that they look at the message and they're like, okay, so that kind of looks like a, an at bash uh, message, just like the alphabet reversed. Maybe maybe I'll try that. Um, or like there's a general selection of ciphers mm-hmm. that they're like, yeah, this this might be one of those. Let me, let me plug it in and see if this happens. Um, with the three letters back... I always seem to hear uh, maybe a whisper or something backwards, and I'm like, "That's backwards." I want to hear that forwards. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, and if for for the people who are listening close to the intro, the three letters back helped you dis figure out the first cipher in the show. Yeah, three, that one. Yeah. Three letters back. Yeah. Um, but with the other ones, it was uh, Alex Hirsch trying to step. Well, not him in particular, but you know, the show just trying to pick up a, uh, the pace a little bit. Like, hey, you know, I, it's cool you figured this one out. Let's see if you can figure these out. And everybody just figured it out really quick. Yeah, the internet is always fast. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there, there's some cipher freaks out there. They're like, oh, I know what that is. <laughs> I, I know exactly what that one is. <laughs> child's play. <laughs> Ch- child's play. <laughs> I'm going to try what nobody else has been trying. Yes, I like to voice act, but I don't really do it very often. Um, 
I think with this, uh, just people are figuring them out because it's he, he they've they've been using existing ciphers, and for the original cipher that they've been using, there's like two or three that they've made up. Mm-hmm. There's a key that's been made, uh, that's been shown in the show, so it's easy to figure out. You're just like, oh, well, that's the key. Right. Like they gave us the key. Um, so that's that probably explains why the ciphers have been translated pretty quick. Yeah, there, there's always something. Yeah. Us, usually. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then it feels like these. These all reference the episodes that they were in, yeah. like uh, Bill escaping, the UFO episode, um, the all, all animation is black magic. <laughs> <laughs> Lo- lovely one yeah. right there. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like they reference the episode that they were in. So I think that it might have just been there to be a reference. But the the way that these piece together, I feel like it's trying to tell a story or something. Um, yeah, I think once we get the two pieces, we'll know for sure. Like if it's just random or if the page is just supposed to look like a puzzle type of thing. Yeah. Uh, have we seen a... Um, what In the first episode, where did they go? Oh, man. Hmm. Tourist trapped where they went to. Because I'm thinking. Is that the first? And this is just a hunch. Um, I'm think. Well, it wasn't the. Pilot, oh, the first. But it, yeah. It, okay, it, it was the first episode. Right, right. I'm thinking that these are referencing the story of Gravity Falls. Because they start out at, um, you know, the. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure it's the Skull Island. Like, this is a representation of the island. They run into the gnomes. Oh, after Mabel rejects the gnomes, they're kidnapped to go deeper in the woods. Meanwhile, as Dipper watches a video he took, he finds part of the video where Mabel's boyfriend hand boyfriend's hand falls off. <laughs> right, that terrifying yeah. part. Um, then what episode? Way back. The Legend of the Gobble Wonker. <laughs> very, very, very ominous. Yes. Um, that episode is the one that we, they actually went to the island, isn't it? Scuttlebutt Island. Um, I don't think it's a skull-shaped island. It's it's amazing how much I don't remember. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm I don't remember either. I'm just looking it up on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> well, not Wikipedia. It's Wik- Wiki. Yeah. Let me just look up in my memory real quick. Because yes. I remember all uh, of this. My, my, my yes. memory, because I'm amazing at this. Uh, afterward, they dispose of their cameras. On their way to the island, Dipper gives Mabel and blah, 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 blah. The enormous Gobble Wonker. <laughs> Gobble Wonker is a fun name. Gobble Wonker. Because that's gobble. ultimately how it gets destroyed. The Gobble wonk- Wonker got wonked. And gobbled. Yes. Mm, was it uh, yeah. was it a skull shaped island? I think you're thinking of uh, Peter Pan there, Eric. <laughs> no, uh, I I remember there being some sort of skull cave of, or something like that, wasn't there? In Peter Pan, yes, <laughs> yes, no. it was a skull cave. <laughs> <laughs> no, not in Peter Pan. <laughs> I haven't even watched that movie. Don't tell anyone because they'll be like, "Why haven't you watched the Disney classic?" I don't know. I've not seen Peter Pan. Well, uh, I just didn't watch a lot of the Disney classics. Wow, you're a terrible. Person. But 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 again, don't tell anyone because they'll be yelling at me. Right? No, no it's just, hey man, it's just us three and the few thousand. It's just us watching. three and that camera right next to us. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I don't think uh, I'm pretty. Like, what does a skull have to do with anything? Someone what? dying? <laughs> Someone died. <laughs> um, but, well, eh, it might have been. What does a but... heart have to do with anything? What does a what? A heart. Well, love is where the heart is. <laughs> and there's your heart. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I like how there, we have these representations of a heart being, you know, just, you know, too whip. Weird. You, you know the traditional heart picture. Mm-hmm. And then 
This one, they show you where the love is. Well, I think the cartoon heart is supposed to be two hearts together. Yeah, Ow. I've seen that too. Heard that. I haven't. Uh, oh, yeah. That could work. It blew my mind. Yeah. Mind Maybe. blown. I guess I'll go over to these uh, last bottom ones. Haley, do you, do you have to head out now? or? Uh, yeah, yeah. You guys <laughs> continue discussing these things. Okay, well, everybody say a nice comment to Haley as she leaves, even though this is pre-recorded. Yes. <laughs> well, leave you. your uh, message to this pre-recorded video. <laughs> after yeah. the tone and only after the tone. Bye. Bye. See ya. And she's gone. Yep, rest in peace. She was, <laughs> yeah. a, good, she was a good She was a good woman. Yes. St yeah, make it make cross on my... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anywho... Uh, 30 years and now he's back. The mystery in the mystery shack. We know what that is. Yeah. And then the ridiculous one. Winning hearts by daylight. Possessing robots by moonlight. Her emotional baggage is a real fright. She is the one named Giffany. <laughs> I did not even know that was a uh, <laughs> code. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I actually had to reference it. Um, let me see if I can plug these numbers into something because I've waited long enough to or, do that. Or was it Jiffany? Giffany. <laughs> Jiffany. If you wanna if you wanna be a Jiff or a Jive. Go ahead. Jiff or Jive. <laughs> or Jive. Yeah, I am referencing an idea channel. <laughs> Not familiar. I'm sure, I'm sure some, some some people watching are familiar. Yeah. A guy a guy always pops up on screen, he's like, here's an idea. Oh, and then, he, and yeah. then he goes on with an idea. idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me see. Gravity. Gravity. Um, gravity falls. I break the code. Because this is the best way to check your ciphers. Now let's see if I can figure it out. Um, at bash, you get J A J B Q R. Uh yeah, excuse me. Yeah, this doesn't make anything. What, what were you trying to look up? I was just trying to see if the episode numbers had anything to do with anything. Uh oh. It doesn't. Spoilers. Uh, so, I guess since the series is ending, what was your favorite episode of the entire um, series so far? Episodes one through the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, that's I have cheating. To pick a favorite. <laughs> um, sorry, <let> Billy. <laughs> so, sorry, Billy. I can't have all of your candy. <laughs> um, let me. I have to think about it for a minute here. Hmm. What's your favorite, and why? Um, I have to say, Society of the Blind Eye, probably. Uh, that that of the time travel episode when uh, Dipper Mabel kept going back to the carnival because that was very entertaining. Uh, uh, the Society of Blind Eye because it was just so trippy to see McGucket normal and like get like a very interesting backstory and learn how many people are racing their memories and it was just like a huge reveal. I yeah. Um. Hmm. Let me think. I liked a tale of two stands. Like really yeah. nice episode tells great episode as a well. lot about this show. Yeah, and there's probably a lot of things that I didn't pick up on. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll definitely one day watch the show again because definitely stuff we missed. But yeah, that yeah. was a great episode. Uh, side note: I love <laughs> this is completely irrelevant. I love the song "Goat and a Pig." Goat and a pig. I forget how that song I goes. I love it so much, like way more than I probably should. Goat and a pig. So great. I think I remember. <laughs> so ridiculous. I think it was on the uh the uh Cupid episode, I believe. Mm -hmm. They're like trying to set the uh Mabel set uh chompers up with waddles. Ooh. Yeah. It's very <laughs> sexy. So you're telling me that Mabel is a shipper. <laughs> She's a shipper. Oh. Not a not She's... a di not a dipper shipper. And not a dipper shipper. <laughs> oh, that's that also brings up another point. Um, the what what is Dipper's actual name? Oh man, because it's not Dipper. <laughs> well, like 
Like I've been told that there's a rhyme scheme between them, so maybe his name is Gable. Uh, date? <laughs> no, his, his name's supposed to start with D. Is it? Though? I believe. I believe that's what that, was that said. mentioned in between the pines, or I like I'm pretty sure something like in relation to that something was said, but I'm not sure if it was that his name is exactly. Um, the the hint that was put out there was when Candy said his name starts with a D and ends with an Ipper. <laughs> I mean, that, that was the hint that was put on screen. It might. I think be I, I think he else. was being facetious. Yeah, <laughs> it ends with an Ipper. Ipper. The, 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 the blipper. Like <laughs> I don't know what that could even. Table Ipper. Table flipper. Table flipper. Yeah. Or dippy fresh. <laughs> Flip a dip dip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a that's a good question. Well, one theory could be since Stanley and Stanford have similar names, maybe Dipper and Mabel have similar names. I uh, God, I'm I'm horrible at remembering details. I believe that uh, um Alex said that they do have a rhyme scheme in their names. Everyone comment and confirm. Yes, this, comment and confirm. I have, not, I have not yet seen Between the Pines. I know I'm a scrub. I'm, I'm, a I'm going to send you the video. Well, actually, I sent yeah, you, you send the me. video. Yeah, I will and be now you can it. watch it. I'll be sure to watch it. <laughs> okay, that'll be great. <laughs> These voices are great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I honestly should voice act more, but I, I don't. Just, I, I don't do put it. time aside to do it. Just do it. Do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. That's a, that's actually a very good question. No, I like. I literally didn't even think about until just now. Until just now, it dawned on him. What the heck is Dipper's name? Yeah. Well, we'll have to find that out. I doubt they'll like not tell us. Yeah, like, it'll probably be like the and, last. And you know, thing. we we have so much longer to wait. Just you know, a couple days. Yeah, it's too long <laughs> though. That's too long. The last episode was like three years ago. <laughs> Three years? Oh, that's been a while. I thought it was a couple months. <laughs> yeah, these hiatuses kill me. Yeah, yeah I wish that a they would. Permanent hiatus. <laughs> uh, I like a lot of shows on television right now. Like Gravity Falls is great. Steven Universe is great. Oh yeah. Um, Adventure Time. When I was watching it, was great. Yeah, but I heard Adventure Time but the it. hiatuses. I'm like. What show is going on right now? <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I wonder what that is. Any any uh, any animation, um, industry buffs, let us know why American cartoons go on so many hiatuses all the time. Well, I understand having like MLP is great. They have the season, entire season at like weekly episodes, yep. and then. They don't have episodes for an extended period of time. Yeah, you know how most. And shows then are. they have another season, but Gravity Falls. It seems okay. We got another episode out. See you in a couple. Yeah, just re- just release it when, whenever. Like release just... it all at once so that we're not sitting here like oh my god, yeah. <laughs> waiting and waiting. In the Steven Universe, here's an episode. 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 See you in all a couple. Right. <laughs> all right, later. <laughs> yeah, but it does give us a lot of time to speculate. Indeed, indeed. I th- ooh, ooh. Season one, episode nine, Time Baby's future, where he's destroying everything, just like ah. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, it, his beam is red, while the one that we've seen attack Bill is blue. He uses blue beam, just all like I'm a baby and I'm I got a blue beam. Hmm. Maybe that's worth noting. Two time babies confirmed. Two time baby. Yeah, yeah. You got to put a question mark at the end. <laughs> two time babies confirmed. Yeah, that's what, that's interesting. I think I'm I'm pretty sure it's two time babies now. Yeah, I feel like there has to be one that's going to reconstitute and be very cranky. Uh, maybe that's the one that we see destroying a city. Um, yeah. Maybe not. That would make sense actually. Well, yeah. no, because his beams were red, right? Yeah, maybe early time baby has red beams. Uh, just I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we just got a problem with man. Also, like, if going back to the time travel thing, if they like went forward in time, like, and Bill was creating an anomaly, and like, like, what if he 
wouldn't he not allow them to go back in time if, if Bill was like ruling the world or whatever? Well, like, I have they not one, have one answer trouble? for you. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Got it. That explains yeah. everything. Yes, everything is explained now. Uh, everybody likes to believe that time is a constant flow of cause and effect, but from a nonlinear, multijective <laughs> viewpoint, it's more of a big ball of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Is it though? Stuff. No, <laughs> probably not. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, like that, that's that's the thing. Like, I hope they like kind of go more in depth about how time travel here works. Because, like, is it like? Dragon Ball Z, where if you go back in time, you create a separate timeline that has nothing to do with the timeline you came from, or does it change? Is it like the butterfly effect? Or I think it's what uh, with Dragon Ball Z. It's the multi-world theory, right? Um, I, I'm pretty sure that that's what happens uh, because there's there's so many different worlds that were created in this cell saga. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we've been doing this for a while, uh, so I guess we'll wrap it up with any last-minute potential uh, predictions, if there are any left. So everything's going to implode, right? And yes. then explode in a mass array, creating galaxies, and stars, and planets, and asteroids, <laughs> and dust. And after all of this. Gravity Falls will come to a close. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Gideon will probably be redeemed or whatever. I don't know if anyone's going to die. I don't know if they'll go that far in a Disney Channel or Disney XD cartoon. Well, maybe they won't d die, but maybe they'll go into a place where they can't be with their family. Like, just separated rather than <sighs> dead See, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want someone to like go back into the portal again <laughs> like, that'd yeah be terrible. but maybe the whole world depends on it you have to go into the portal dipper <laughs> hmm. maybe, oh I, I didn't bring this up forward. there was a clip of um the voice actor for mabel saying no why would you do that uh, why uh, would yeah. you so whatever what was it oh uh, yeah 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 i saw that actually yeah her reaction well, you know, it, it does seem like she's calm during this, or you know, a little distressed. Well, that whole scene makes me worry about Mabel. Well, I, I want to watch that again, because uh, I don't know if she was just reacting to the fact that that was her last line, mm -hmm. or if uh, she's reacting to the ending itself and then learning that was the ending. Why would you end Mabel? That was the <laughs> word choice that made me worry. Why would you end Mabel? Well, ma maybe uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. If they're gonna kill Mabel, but like maybe they're like, uh, like maybe she just maybe she an didn't end know. to the show in general, and she's like, okay, yeah. recording my lines, nice fun time. No, why would you end Mabel? Yeah, like she she may not have known that was the finale. Yeah, uh, while she was recording it, and then Alex was like, hey, guess what? <laughs> Yeah, reaction to That's last it. line in Gravity Falls. Yeah. So. But it makes me worry that they'll do something to Mabel. I, 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 I know, doubt man. that they That's, will, but it's possible. She's so innocent and nice. <laughs> yeah. Which would make Listen. it great for her to be the one to go. <laughs> Listen, this is not Game of Thrones. <laughs> well. <laughs> it is media. And it is their last episode. They just go full George R. R. Martin on the last episode. Yeah, just okay. I'm going to have the red. Um, what is Bill having? W red, red Magadan. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that. Just imagine that as the last episode's name. The, the title of the last episode, Red Magadan. And then the fans watching that just. I'd love to see reactions of people seeing Red Magadan. I w I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be impressed. Yeah, I would be like, good on you. Good on you. Good job, Alex. <laughs> you, you took a, a great idea and did it. Uh, and then, like, the episode has nothing to do with and everyone dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just everyone Wait, dies, no. that's it, the end. Wait a toy with our expectations.
Well, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, we may do a recap at the end if you would like to join us again, Mr. Eric. Eric oh, Turtle. Nice. Um, if as long as I'm available at the time. Um. So yeah, we're sad. We're sad to see the show go. But we still <laughs> so got an hour. Always. <laughs> so I got an hour of Gravity Falls. Well, technically, like forty-five-ish minutes, and uh, then Alex is moving on to Fox for a new show. So oh, maybe I am. We'll I am see what sorry. kind of show that is. You said you're sorry for him. Yeah, uh, sorry. I hate going to Fox. <laughs> well, it's not Fox <laughs> News, so it's okay. Oh, okay, good. good. <laughs> as long as it's not Fox News, but still Fox. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for uh, watching. We will see you on the recap, and stay tuned for more uh, cartoon discussion. Not much more Gravity Falls discussion because the show is about to end. Uh, subscribe for more. Follow us on Twitter and Tumblr. Make sure you subscribe to the Looney Turtle on YouTube because he's... He's awesome. He does cartoon stuff as well, and amazing voices. Yes, and you can you can see the the amazing turtle companion that I have. See you guys later.